Ok. Uhul. Fala, galerinha! Tudo bem com vocês? Tudo bem com você? Eu estou bem. Meu nome é Ninka. Seja bem-vinda no meu canal. What's up? How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, we are going to talk a little bit about education. Because in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys como eu aprendi inglês e você pode também. You heard it right. I'm going to talk about how I learned English, my tips and tricks, and some, just some personal advice I want to give you. I feel like this is such an important topic. I'm working on a lot of cool projects around this topic, which I cannot say anything about yet, but I wanted to talk about this today. So some of you might be watching my videos because you learn English with it. First of all, I feel super honored. I get a lot of messages on a daily basis, uh, people telling me that I help them learn English. And that is just so awesome in my opinion. It blows my mind. So in this video, I have a list here. I wrote it down. I prepared the video to tell you guys about learning English. Um, right now, I'm learning a new language, Portuguese. And I want to tell you guys my experience about it. And for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm not American, I'm Dutch. I'm from Holland, the Netherlands. That's where I'm from. Our native language is Dutch. Before I give you guys my tips and tricks on how to learn a new language, I'm going to tell you guys about my experience learning English, how I learned English, how I got the accent. So as a kid, me and my family used to watch a lot of movies. We used to watch like movies every single Saturday and uh, they were in English. At the time, I did not speak English. I was very young, but I did speak Dutch, of course. So we had Dutch subtitles. And I've always, I don't know, that's just probably me. I've always been super interested in learning a new language, like talking in a different language. For me, it's so much fun. I have always loved talking in a different language. I've wanted to learn language for a long time and I'm super happy. I'm finally learning my third language that I'm going to speak because actually I only speak two. I speak Dutch and English. I don't speak German. So um, we used to watch movies in the weekend. This really, really, really helped me. This helped me get my accent and it also helped me get uh, fluent. I never did take any classes or courses or anything. The only class I had were in high school. I used to fail. I used to be fluent making YouTube videos in English. I used to be just as fluent as I am now, but I would fail. My average score would be like a six out of 10. So it was okay, but for most of the the test that I made, I had like a four or a five. And I'm going to explain you guys why. If you're going to ask me about grammar, you won't get any answer. I don't know anything about grammar. I used to fail my classes on grammar. The only class I would pass is like, like talking. That's how I would pass my exams. But grammar, girl, no. So that's something really, really important. If you're learning a new language, please don't be afraid to make mistakes. I have that with Portuguese. Luckily, my Portuguese teacher, he makes me feel super comfortable with making mistakes. Still, to this day, when I go out into uh, the streets, I'm in Brazil, São Paulo, and I try to speak Portuguese. People talk so fast and it's like <gasps> I like freeze I don't know what to say people would like make their sentences very short very fast and I'm like <clears throat> I would lose every single word that I learned in Portuguese. If you guys would ask me simple questions in Portuguese, I could answer in Portuguese, but filming in Portuguese and talking in Portuguese, like a full video in Portuguese, I have to study for that. I have to learn. If you're really interested in the grammar, if you're really interested in uh, how the English language works, then I would recommend you to go on online courses. You can uh, apply for online courses. There are many of them online. I would recommend you for that. But if you're only looking for the basics, like survival, language like you're gonna go to a country you need a little bit of English you gotta travel abroad and you need some English you can perfectly go along with survival language like how to ask for a taxi how to ask the right directions how to ask for a hotel you can practice those sentences and responses um, I feel like you don't have to perfectly speak English to find your way into the country there is a way to communicate even though you won't be fluent so if you're looking for like grammar and I would suggest online courses but if you're just looking for a little bit of fluency a little bit of like English a little bit of that movies and series will do a lot for you I wanted to tell you guys that it's never too late to learn a new language you might be I don't know 25 and you're thinking like damn I'm too I like at 25, I have to learn English. You might feel a little bit of ashamed. You might feel like, ah, oh, I'm never gonna learn. Because it works like this. My teacher told me this. As a baby, we pick up things very easy. You were born in a country, your parents speak a language, and you pick up that language. That's the language you're going to speak. But if you're older, like let's say you're 25, your brain is super strict with the things you're going to say. We are way too 
critical of ourselves to speak a different language because we probably have the ability to learn a language but because we are super critical about ourselves how we speak we're afraid to make mistakes that's how it's going to block the whole language. So if you're 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, it's never too late to learn a new language. My teacher, he had a 81, 81 year old student. He was 81 and he wanted to learn something new and he wanted to learn English. He never spoke English in his life and uh, he wanted to just learn something new and you see it's never too late to learn a new language. You can also see it as something completely different like instead of oh man I want to speak English so bad but I don't know how. See it as something new in your life. Don't see it as a process like learning, boring, well, well, well. See it as something fun. You can like write down in a notebook. I'm gonna show you guys my notebook. Hold on. Oh, this is my Portuguese notebook. I bought this one in Holland. It was eight euros. Kind of expensive for a notebook, but I wanted to get one that was a little bit more expensive so I would put a little bit more worth to it. Like, this is my baby. I put every single Portuguese class, homework, everything I put in here. And this is basically how I started. I used different kinds of colors to make it more fun. This is what I do. <laughs> this is what I did. I practice, I write down, I love to write things down. Go to the bookstore, buy a book that you're going to put some worth into, serious interest in, like it can be a little bit more expensive, like instead of two euros, like eight euros or something like that. And really dedicate yourself to the language. And if you're really interested, uh, like watch a movie, write down things that you like that you know, write down the words and the meaning. You can make like your own exercises. Let's say you're watching a series in English with Portuguese subtitles and you see some words in English that you recognize that you know write them down and write the meaning behind it just for you to have it like in your head you know I don't know how to explain it I feel like when you write things down you learn it a lot better and also I am in a phase right now that I understand Portuguese really well but I don't speak it that well yet uh, I don't have the vocabulary yet so you have with English it's the same you have to go through a beginner phase you're probably going to understand the language know how it works a little bit but your vocabulary is still very small so you're going to be frustrated like I know how how I would say this but I don't have the grammar for it I don't have the vocabulary for it and this is when it comes in handy to watch even more movies series and books you're going to extend your vocabulary more and more by watching new series new movies and if you're just looking for a survival language buy a little notebook write down some things you want to know look them up on the internet practice there are just so many ways to learn a new language without seeing it as like homework or like teaching or like learning like, boring obrigada gente for watching this video I'm gonna say demais demais follow me on my instagram and also subscribe to the channel I put out new videos every week about my life here in Sao Paulo I love you guys. Amo vocês demais. Beijinho pra vocês.